Aloha, it's Kim Jolene again with Finding Your Fiji. I'm here with your Feng Shui Friday quick tip. So if you're new to me, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you click on the bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. I do new videos for Feng Shui quick tips every Friday. And then I also offer monthly Angel Zodiac forecasts for all of the Zodiac signs as well as often doing uh, daily angel insight, which is a very short, um, quick message for you from the angels. So today we are continuing our series on mirrors. Uh, this is part three of the mirror series. If you missed the other two parts, they are below. Uh, the first one we did on antique um, or um, tinted mirrors. The second one was on full length mirrors. Today's part three is about mirrored tiles, okay? So mirrored tiles are like these little tiny, usually they're, you know, maybe one inch square. Um, and oftentimes people are using them for backdrops now, um, uh, yeah, in bathrooms, in kitchens, that type of thing. And the problem with these mirrored tiles is that they cut and dice you up. So um, you can't really see yourself in them, and they can also lead to health issues. So if you've got this um, sort of cutting energy, it's kind of like the headboard that has slats in it where that is a cutting energy. And if you um, haven't seen that video, I'll, there's a link to that one below, or I will link that below. I just make a note to myself to make sure I do that. Bedroom headboard. Okay, so I'll make sure we link that for you in there. Um, and then, so what is the solution if you have these mirrored tiles? Um, honestly, remove them. Like, there's really no other remedy for these mirrored tiles. Um, if you have um, these as like a backsplash in your kitchen, for example, and you're not having any health issues or not feeling unclear about who you are, then go ahead and leave them, right? So we don't wanna fix anything that's not broken. So if your health is good and you're feeling very clear about who you are and where you're going, then let them be, right? Um, but if you are having some of those issues, then this could be part of the problem and you may want to try removing them to see how that shifts the energy in your space so you're not having that sort of cutting energy. All right, that's our quick tip for today. Um, check out the links below for more feng shui videos and ways that you can work with me as well as the links to the other two mirror videos and the link to the bedroom video that talks about slatted headboards. So much love and aloha.